Dylan on line two. Dylan, you're up. I want to talk about the media coverage like you were just talking about. Yes, uh, sir. I work for a, I guess you'd call mainstream mm -hmm. newspaper. Sure. And uh, don't, you know, don't agree. I mean, don't disagree at all with the characterization of the poor coverage, focusing a whole bunch on real nonsense that's not very important. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the thing is that media organizations, and I can't speak to TV, but print and online, are, are so beholden to their audience's demands now. Right. Now that they're so competitive, everyone is putting out what the analytics show that their readers are going to click on and read, and unfortunately that is overwhelmingly unsophisticated and very superficial content. Right. And, you, you know, you're absolutely right about that. And the thing about it is that is, look, we talk a lot about uh, privatizations and that, that sort of that sort of issue, right? And then that comes to question, should the media be solely a private issue? When, when, I, when I speak about bloggers and, and crowdsourcing media now, it's for that exact reason, Dylan. Because what happens is, you are a business. You're, you have to get paid as a reporter. You're, the corporation that owns your newspaper needs to make money. That is, I understand that. Okay? I really do. As a blogger, I have ads on my site. But the interesting thing is that it's a passive. The ads on, on EgbertoWillies.com or PoliticsDoneRight.com, it's passive. What it means is it doesn't have any influence on what I blog about, what I write about, because whether I am there, I mean, wh whatever I write, the ads are there. Some, you know, they'll do keywords, whatever they want to do to, to, to serve it. Now, if as far as you're concerned uh, in your newspaper, they're only going to write issues that people kind of think they want. I mean that's not the that's not the job of the media. The job of the media is not yeah, that's true. you know the job of the media is to inform what is happening, and if you you know so wanting and what is happening are two different things, you know, and um, it's not a uh, the, the, it's not a free press. Oh, well, it is a free press. Get I, I guess that's wrong, but it's not an effective press if you are not going to give information f for the people to be able to make choices on, and that's yeah. where we're at. I'll tell you the way the business models change. There used to be an editorial board that would decide what is the, you know, how do we prioritize these stories? How mm -hmm. do we explain what's important? Mm -hmm. Those groups have largely been replaced with groups that will decide which one is going to get the most traction online, what's going to get the most attention. You know, right. And, you know, I, and, priorities. and, you know, again, if you're a, a private business model, that happens. Now, when I talk about, let's say, a KPFT.org, right? One of the good mm -hmm. things about a KPFT.org is a KPFT, the, our radio station is supported by people, by the community, not by, you know, how many clicks we get or anything like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we have the liberty. And folks, this is sort of a plug for the station, but I have to do it wherever I can, right? So folks, yeah, go to kpft.org and go ahead and send us, keep us on air because we're going to give valid information. And we're going to have people like Dylan calling. And we have intelligent callers that are here to tell us how the system really works. Dylan. You've done a big service, and let me tell you why. Because everybody that's listening to this station, and I'm not talking about our dedicated listeners that are here seven days a week, 24-7. I'm talking for the person who is scanning the, the, scanning the radio show, their, 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 their thing in the car right now. They are hearing a respected person like yourself, a newspaper guy saying, hey, when we are giving you news, we go through a marketing department, essentially, to mm -hmm. decide... <laughs> if this is going to get a hell of a lot of information for you to... So so it is important for folks to understand what Dylan just said and understand when you read the paper what you're getting and see the reason why you need to have crowdsourced media, you need to have independent media like KPFT. What else would you like to add, sir? That's it. Look, thank you very much for calling in, Dylan. It's that you're, you're, look, I don't know how to stress the importance of what you just had to say. Thank you very much, sir. Sure thing. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.